I'd like to close this section of videos with the concept of percent yield. Percent yield is like finding your grade in a lab, and you calculate the percent yield like you would calculate any grade. You know how many points you should have gotten, and you compare that to how many points you actually got. Or, you know how much stuff you should have made in a lab. That's your theoretical yield. Everything that we've been calculating doing these stoichiometry problems is a theoretical yield. You compare that to what is actually collected when the experiment is performed. An actual yield involves going to the lab and collecting material. The theoretical yield is just doing the stoichiometric calculation. So you take your actual yield and divide it by your theoretical yield. How many points you actually got versus how many points you should have gotten. Then turn it into a percentage by multiplying by 100%. If I take 50 grams of sodium and combine it with 15 grams of nitrogen gas, I then go to the lab and collect 57.8 grams of sodium nitride. I would like to know what the percent yield is. Let's begin with our balanced equation. Sodium is just Na. I'm combining that with nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is a diatomic, so that's N2. And we're going to do a synthesis reaction, or a direct combination reaction, to make sodium nitride. Sodium has a plus 1, nitrogen has a minus 3, so sodium nitride is Na3N. We have to balance this. I've got two nitrogens on the left, so I'm going to need two nitrogens on the right which is going to require six sodiums on the left. So here's my balanced equation. Now that we have the balanced equation, let's figure out what we're trying to find. They tell us that 57.8 grams of sodium nitride are collected. Well, if you notice the active verb there, that means that somebody actually went and performed the experiment and collected that 57.8 grams, which means that number is an actual yield. What we need to figure out is a theoretical yield in order to calculate a percent yield. So we have to do some stoichiometry. We need to figure out how much sodium nitride will be produced. Let's start converting to moles. I have 50 grams of sodium. Sodium has a molar mass of 22.99 grams. So that means I have 2.17 moles of sodium. Now we have to do the same thing for the nitrogen. I have 15 grams of nitrogen. Molar mass of nitrogen is 28.0134. Don't forget that nitrogen is a diatomic in that calculation. So I have 0.535 moles of nitrogen gas. I've written a balanced equation. I've converted the moles. Now I have to figure out which one of my two reactants is the limiting reactant. I like to do that if-then statement. It doesn't matter which reactant you choose. Let's take the sodium because I have it written first. So if I have 2.17 moles of sodium, then the ratio between the nitrogen and the sodium is that there is one nitrogen for every six sodiums. So that means you need 0 0.362 moles of nitrogen. Well, I have more than 0 0.362 moles of nitrogen. I've got 0.535. So that tells me I have an excess of nitrogen which means the sodium has to be my limiting reactant. So I've written a balanced equation, I've converted the moles, I've determined which is my limiting reactant. Let's now figure out how much product I make. 2.17 moles of my limiting reactant, and I have a ratio of two Na3Ns for every six Na's, or a one to three ratio. Tells me that I'm gonna get 0 0.7 two, three moles of Na3N, but now I want to know the mass. So I have 0.723 moles of my product, the sodium nitride. The molar mass of sodium nitride is 82.976 grams for every one mole. So I'm going to create 60 grams of sodium nitride. That's my theoretical yield right there that's how much sodium nitride I should produce according to the stoichiometry. If I go back to the question, they tell me that 57.8 grams of sodium nitride was actually collected. So I could take my actual yield, 57.8 grams, and divide it by my theoretical yield, which was 60 grams, turn that into a percentage, and I get a 96.3% yield, which is pretty good. One final thought before closing this video. Is it possible to get a percent yield greater than 100%? The answer is yes. 
it is possible to collect a greater mass than you expected to. This could happen in a decomposition reaction where you don't let the reaction completely decompose, so you have some excess reactant in your product. This could happen if you have to dry out a solution and drive off the water. And if you don't let it dry out completely, you could be measuring some extra water by mistake. It's possible to get an actual yield higher than the theoretical yield you calculated.